everybody. Um, so today I will share with you what are the things that I'm looking for when I want to practice TDD on a new language that I'm not familiar with. So in fact, I'm quite new to Elixir. I love the functional paradigm and I was amazed by the um, pattern matching with, with Elixir. So I decided to, to do it for fun, but I'm not doing it in a daily basis. Also, I'm, I try to be a good team player, especially when my teammate could be my future self. I like to be nice with me and, and strive to produce clean and maintainable code. Um, and tests are something that helped me doing that. And in fact, we all do that at some point, either running the function we are writing in a, in a CLI or opening the web page. At worst, the end user will test our code in production. And if we automated the test, we can catch bugs before when, you are, when we are developing. Um, so you will tell me that that's okay, but all code is not easy to set. Some, sometimes there are parts that are very difficult to set up, and I will reply that's true. And there is a trick, uh, which is to write the test first. So when you are done writing your code, there is no more test to write. And actually, this is called TDD, which stands for Test Driven Development. Uh, the concept is simple. It's three steps. First, you write your intent uh, from the con consumer perspective. So you're writing your uh, first failing test that you want to achieve. Then you go back to your code and you write the simplest code that would make this test pass. And one, when you're in a green state, no, you can refactor and change the implementation details, but it works and you can ship it. And this is a key to produce maintainable code. So back to our problem, how to do that with Elixir. So here are the few things that I'm looking for when I'm going into a new language. Uh, I will try to figure out, okay, how can this language help me doing that? So what are the tools at my disposal? Um, and also I got a few bonuses and we will see in Elixir, how, how does it go? So, how can I run tests with Elixir? Well, tests are first-class citizens in Elixir, thanks to Mix, so it's even in the documentation. So if you know Elixir, you are you're familiar with that. Even if you bootstrap a new project, it will come with it. You just have a simple convention, a test folder, uh, and um, test.exs uh, suffix, and, uh, and it works. It just works uh, with every nice that you are familiar with. The reporter is actually quite readable uh, for language. It's not the case with every language. Uh, so this is an example of a failing test and this is a passing test. So good, I can do tests. Now, there is also something I, I, I was amazed by. It, it's a randomized test. That means that I can run my test concurrently and that's great. Uh, it means to me, Alexei is guiding us to the right direction. So that was a side note. Next part, I want to be in a watch mode and this is mandatory if you want to do TDD because you want to keep in the flow and you want to do the back and forth between your test and your code and you don't want to be interrupted because you need to relaunch re the test by hand. And fortunately, there is a, a dependency for that, which is called mixed test watch, uh, which does exactly what, what it sounds. Um, so here is an example. I'm just modifying the test so you can see that Anytime I hit save, then the tests are run again. And there is few configurations so you can uh, clean the previous uh, console uh, as you go. So that's really, really nice. Another subject is mocking. So how can, I, how can I mock things? How can I substitute an actual behavior with another one? So there is a bit of debate here. Um, First of all, if you do too much mocks, then it's a cut smell. And often, when you're not writing the test first, you will end up doing a lot of mocks. There is something called the hexagonal architecture. I don't have time to, to dig deeper, but the idea is to separate what is easily testable, the domain, from the rest in the infrastructure, so the database of our system, uh, everything which is hard to test. And in fact, I discovered that Elixir has behaviors uh, which separates the abstract domain um, interfaces uh, w from the concrete implementation, which is infrastructure. So the key idea is to uh, do a custom implementation for a test and to inject it so we can test easily. And there is even a dependency to do that. 
So I will give you, give you the slide so you will have time to, to dig deeper. But there is something called MOX, uh, which is just a nice dependency to help you doing that. Uh, and so from a behavior uh, interface, you can implement a fake, a mock uh, implementation that you can use in your test. A few bonuses with Elixir. Uh, the first one I was amazed with is the fact that you can, by default, if it works, yes, uh, run your, um, you can run the test in watch mode, but only the one that are modified. So this is really nice because you don't want to run all of your test suite. Uh, suite. Uh, so this is cool. Uh, also, I was wondering about the failing report uh, when there is, you know, structs and uh, um, list of structs. Uh, is it readable? It's not the case in every language. In Elixir, I was surprised that it's really readable, as you can see. And also, I will conclude with EX docs. Uh, so, documentation is also a first class citizen in Elixir, just like tests. And this will help you ensure that your documentation you are writing in your, uh, your modules, for example, you will put samples of code. And just with this line of code, with the doc test line of code, you can run the actual examples in your, in your test. So this is not a substitute for testing, but it ensures that your doc's examples are up to date. So that's it. If you are going to try a new language, uh, do TDD because if you have to write some crappy code because you don't know the language, at least it's tested so you can refactor later when you, when you know the language. Thank you.